Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com, and today Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get started. Thank you, George, for this introduction. As George mentioned, this tutorial will be focused on the synchronization of the audio with the video footage. We will see how fast and easy to do it automatically, but also how to do it manually to get all the options in your hands. Before starting, let's have a look at some behind the scenes for this shooting. George and his team use a Blackmagic 4K camera for the video, but they have also recorded the sounds with their internal microphone from the camera. Besides the camera, there was a directional microphone. This one was plugged with the XLR cable to an external audio recorder zoom unit. So from this shooting, we will get two files. I've imported these two files inside the media pool. First, the video footage. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com and today Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. As you can hear, the sound is not good with a lot of reverb. If we do a right click on the video clip and select Clip Attributes, on the audio tab, we can see that we have a stereo audio with two embedded channels. The second file is from the external audio recorder. We can check the quality of the audio. My name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. Much better, no reverb, and good dynamic. To display both files, you just have to select both folder, audio and video, with a keyboard shortcut command. So here, we'd like to replace the sounds from the video clip with the audio file. Many people will do it directly inside the timeline, which is not the most efficient way, and here I will show you why. So if I switch to the edit page, I can drag my video file inside the timeline, and bring also the good audio file. George, as the best professional in the universe, did some claps to get visual information with the waveforms. So it will be easier to match the two audio tracks. Let's zoom in to be more accurate. So I will adjust the position of the external audio track to get sync. Okay, perfect. Let's remove the handles. To remove the bad audio file, you will have to unlink the video and the audio track. I will delete the audio file and the track and I will select both to link them. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com and today Erwin is going to... So it seems okay, but if you are working with a long clip, you may need to import many parts of this clip inside your edit. And the problem is that the source footage is not linked to the audio. All right, let's get started. So you will have to resync again both tracks. So definitely not the right method. Let's remove everything and go back to the media page. In the media page, you can link manually any audio clip with any video footage. As you will do it in the media pool, you will do it once. So I will select the audio file. It will display it inside the viewer. On the top, we have the full length of the waveform of the audio clip and the zoom version below. Full lens feature is great as you can visualize all the claps at once and go directly to them. But here we won't use the main viewer, we will open the audio panel. By default, it will show the peak meters. Hello, my name is George. To sync manually the audio, we we'll need to open the waveform panel. Waveform panel is independent from the main viewer, so I can move the playhead and it won't affect the main viewer. I can position the playhead on the clap, like this. Perfect. Now we will select the footage. As you can see, it didn't switch the audio signal on the waveform panel. We still have the audio file. Now we will need to scrub the video to the right clap timing. With long clip, you can wait sometimes to find the right timing. To help you, there are options in the viewer to visualize the audio signal. If you click on the three dots icon, some options are available. You can show zoom waveform that will scroll in real time. Alright, let's get started. Or you can choose to display the full length of the waveform like with the audio file. Now it's easy to visualize where are the two claps. I will adjust the playhead at the right timing. My viewer and my waveform panel are synchronized but not linked. To link both, you will have to click on the link icon on the bottom right. Once you click on it, it will link the audio to the video. We can see the changes of the waveform inside the viewer. And if we play the clip, Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX. Both are moving at the same time. 
and you can see that it's no more possible to adjust the playhead in the waveform panel. You how to sync audio in DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get started. So now if I go to the edit page, I can drag my clip to the timeline and the audio is perfectly in sync with the video. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com and today Erwin is going to show If we look at the clip attributes, we can see on the audio tab that we have now a mono track and the source is a link channel. But the beauty of this is that we are not losing any information. The original sound is still available. If we look at the source channel list, we still have access to the embedded channel 1 and 2. So you can switch to a stereo track and ask to get back the original footage. It could be very useful if you have some noise or problem on the clean audio track. Ok, I will get back to the clean audio and show you how you can do it automatically. Back in the media page, you have seen that it's not really complicated to sync manually audio and video. But here we had only one video. Most of the time, after a shoot, you may have dozen or hundred clips to synchronize. So it will be time consuming. Here a second example. I've got all the text from George, but this time his assistant stops the record after each take. So we have now 5 video clips and still one audio file. I will show you that DaVinci Resolve can synchronize automatically all the clips and it will do it in one second. So I will select all the video clips and the audio. I will do a right click and select the feature Auto Sync Audio. You will get two main options, synchronization based on the timecode or based on the waveforms. Timecode is used a lot with professional broadcast camera that can ingest a reference timecode signal. Waveform is used when you have various types of camera like DSLR or smartphones. For waveforms, all the camera should have an internal microphone. For each option, you have two choices, with or without app and tracks. App and tracks will add the clean audio tracks with a bad one. Without app and tracks, the clean audio will replace the camera audio. Here I will select without as I would like to get only the clean audio track. And as you can see, it is almost done in real time. But if you have many long clips, it may take a few seconds. Now I can test each video and see that all the video clips are synced with the right audio. Erwin is going to show you how to sync. Today, Erwin is going to show you how to. We can go to the edit page and check inside the timeline. And of course, it is also perfectly synchronized. VFX.com and today. You can perform the auto sync audio also in the edit page. Just select the clips and do a right click and you will have access to it. But this feature is not available inside the cut page. If you need to unlink a clip with the audio, it is the same workflow as the manual technique. Go to the media page. Open the audio panel. Show you how to sync audio. And uncheck the link icon to break the synchronization. Oh, in DaVinci Resolve. Oh, in DaVinci Resolve. All right, let's get started. And you will see inside the attributes of the clip that the link audio channel won't be available anymore. As you just seen, audio synchronization in DaVinci Resolve is quite fast and simple. But you need to get the audio or the time code during the shooting. If you have some issue, you always have the possibility to sync manually your footage, so don't forget to do a clap during the shooting on each take. For the next episode, we will continue with synchronization, but this time it will be with multi-camera projects. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorials. Ciao ciao, bye bye.